Hey guys, so today I am boiling hot. What I intended to film and what's gonna get filmed are two completely different things. I'm gonna be using my Magic by Juvia's palette. Oh, you know, I've been revisiting my Juvia's place palettes since I got rid of the shades that I predominantly use in my sleek palette. So yes, it's really, really hot. So that's why the tutorial has changed. So I'm only gonna be doing like minimal makeup. So I'm gonna go in with Nana. I've already primed my eyelids. I've already done my brows. I normally do my brows off camera anyway but if you guys want to see me do my brows more on camera tell me oh i've got a really good idea for a brow video that i'll probably shoot later on today actually like once the day's finished but tell me if you want to see me do my brows more on camera like when i'm doing tutorials i'll be more than happy to do that but you know like do you ever feel like once you see someone do brows once is it really important to see them do it again that shade is just so beautiful. Now I'm gonna go in with this blue Yeji Day on a flat brush. But I'm not going to moisten my brush. What's up? Pink in a minute? Yeah. You want me to do pink? Yeah. But I'm doing blue. Yeah, blue. Yeah, because I've got a blue top on. Yeah. So should I do blue? Yeah. Yeah, do blue. Yeah. Oh, this is a bit on the sheer side. It's feeling a little bit patchy. Even though I love Juvia's, I've got to call a spade a spade and just call it how I see it. And this shade is a little bit patchy when you first put it on. You probably need like a white base or, or a blue base to make this color pop, or you're gonna need to build it up. Now what I was going to shoot was a red look, but because today turned out to be such a hot day and I picked this dress out of my closet, I couldn't go and do the red look because I'm wearing blue. It doesn't make much sense. And this whole week I've been mismatching my makeup, like literally this whole week because I was picking my makeup and then picking my clothing afterward. It made absolutely no sense. Okay, so now that I've done my whole lid using that beautiful color, I'm going to use my Sleek Oh So Special palette. I'm just gonna use the black that's in there. I'm using this smudge brush and I'm just going to take it right along the lash line. I really like how that looks. And it's kind of different from what I normally do, where I normally like just do a crease color and then a lid color and then an outer V color. This is just a little bit different from what I would normally do. So I'm not gonna put anything on the outer V, but I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna do my foundation. I'm not gonna go with anything. I'm not gonna go with anything too heavy. I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to use my uh, Kevin Aquan Central Skin Foundation. This was like, it's a really light coverage foundation. And as soon as it's so hot outside, I cannot be putting on something too heavy. I'm just going to melt and that's no good. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone and I've done my foundation, my highlight, blah, blah, blah. The only thing I've got to do is like my lower lash line. And I'm just using the residue of the eyeshadow that was already on this brush. You guys are probably thinking, oh my gosh, her foundation looks so tan. Yeah, this foundation is a little bit too deep for me. I thought it was going to be fine because I did tan a little bit in this sun since we've been having summer, but I haven't tanned that much. So it's a little bit on the deep side, but I'm not that bothered about it to be fair. Look at that beautiful smile. Yeah. He's smiling. Oh. oh, beautiful smiling. Yeah. Oh, lovely smile. Yeah. Oh, con yeah. congratulations. Tasty. 
and this is the finished look this is probably the quickest tutorial in life when i use this foundation though because it's such a light coverage i had to use my stick foundation who is it by l'oreal my l'oreal infallible stick foundation over the areas that did not cover as well so i just like stamped that on and just blended it out otherwise you'd be able to see a lot more of my imperfections but yes but yes this is the finished look so hopefully you like this tutorial again this was not what i was going to shoot i was going to shoot a red tutorial but it is what it is i think it suits my little my little dress kind of thing so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye say bye bye, bye. bye. <laughs>